Here's Dr. Anthony Fauci, Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in the US, to prove the safety of the new Moderna vaccine, or mode RNA depending on how you like to pronounce it. Fauci got vaccinated live on television. Does anybody else find it funny that Moderna's stock code is mRNA? Also, why is Moderna's share price falling? You'd think if the vaccine is truly effective and revolutionary, then surely the share price would be skyrocketing by now. Surely it's got nothing to do with people having severe allergic reactions like the doctor in Boston. Anyway, here's Fauci getting his beloved vaccine. Make sure to note which part of his body he gets his vaccine in. Next we have Dr. Tony Fauci. Twelve twenty-four forty. So many in our, in our nation are saying, if Dr. Fauci gets the vaccine, I'm going to get the vaccine. So tell us a little bit of why it's important. Well, for me, it's important for two reasons. One is that I'm an attending physician here on the staff at the National Institutes of Health Clinical Center. And so I do see patients. But as important or more important is as a symbol to the rest of the country that I feel extreme confidence in the safety and the efficacy of this vaccine. And I want to encourage everyone who has the opportunity to get vaccinated so that we could have a veil of protection over this country that would end this pandemic. Thank you, Dr. Fauci, for coming today. <clears throat> Any last minute questions, concerns? No. Right. Should I get a good intramuscular injection here? Thanks for helping out. Oh boy, his left arm must hurt a fair bit, hey? Anyway, he did a couple of post-vaccine interviews the next day. Here's one from CBSN. Again, look out for which arm Dr. Fauci claims is hurting. It's been 24 hours since you got the Moderna vaccine. How are you feeling? Any side effects? Is your arm sore? Well, I actually feel quite good. I do have a little bit of a sore arm. After the vaccination, uh, it was about maybe six to eight hours. I felt absolutely nothing. And then towards the late afternoon, I started to get soreness in the arm. This is very typical of vaccinations. The same thing happened with other non-COVID vaccines that I've had over the years. I felt a little bit achy, but nothing to be bothering or distracting me. Went to bed last night, had a good night's sleep. Woke up this morning. The only thing I have is just a little bit of a soreness in the arm. The only thing I have is just a little bit of a soreness in the arm. The thing I have is just a little thing I have is just a little thing I have is just a little bit of a soreness in the arm. Otherwise, I'm doing really well. Okay, so it seems like his right arm is hurting. I thought it was his left arm where he got the vaccine. Anyway, here's another interview on Bloomberg the same day. Today, how are you feeling? Are there any side effects? You know, I really feel really fine. Uh, for at least five or six hours after the injection, I didn't feel anything at all. I mean, less so than a flu vaccine. Then a late afternoon, early evening, I started to get a little bit of an ache, really nothing to distract me or bother me, but just something that when I press on it, you could actually feel it. Just something that when I press on it, you could actually feel it. Just something that when I press on it, just something that when I press on it, press on it, press, 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 press on it, you could actually feel it. Ah, that's better. Now it's his left arm that is hurting, the actual arm where he apparently got the vaccine. So what's going on here? He gets his supposed vaccine in his left arm, he claims his right arm is hurting in the first interview, and then claims that his left arm is hurting in the second interview. Well, I'll take a stab at what's going on here. Either one, he's just old and made a mistake and pointed to the wrong arm, but I find that hard to believe as he said that his arm was currently sore. 
Two, his arm isn't actually sore, he's just saying that because he might think that if he told everyone that there were no side effects, people would be less inclined to believe him. Three, he didn't actually get a vaccine. Well, at least not one that gives a sore arm. Maybe it was just a saline injection? Maybe the injection didn't even take place. If you look at the original video, instead of being a fairly smooth injection, it kind of suddenly just pushes in, as if the needle is retracting. Anyway, what do you think? Did Dr. Fauci really get the vaccine? Or is he trying to pull a fast one on us? I'll tell you what, I'll make a poll so we can find out what everyone thinks. Cheers! 